Hey guys, it's Nova here. Today I'm going to talk about level 4 Hall of Dimension. Um, the thing is, I actually had the clips ready for a long time, but I just felt like it was kind of unnecessary to make level 4 guide video. It's actually because I personally think the system is kind of stupid. First thing is that um, you can see there's a damage increase bar. If you get hit, you lose that damage buff and you slowly regain. Um, I mean, this part is fine, but the actual problem with this content was that time. There's a time issue. Like, if you don't clear within 4 minutes, you just get kicked out. Yeah, we are just lacking damage in a way. Yeah, so to do this content, the fame actually had to be high. And when it first came out, to reach that fame wasn't that easy. And I just felt like it was unnecessary to make a guide video that um, a lot of people just wouldn't get to do. So that's why I didn't make it. But now everyone's quite strong and we don't even really need the guide video anymore. But I was out of things to do, so yeah, I decided to make it now. But anyways, let's begin. So the first boss we see is a Moros. Uh, he uh, he's pretty simple actually. You just um, deal his deal him damage until like like seventy percent of his HP remaining, and he starts doing the gimmick. When he does gimmick, everyone needs to jump into the, his picture, or his body, should I say. Uh, and then they are going to turn you into this creepy creeps. And you just need to try to attack the big one. Or go around the map and then kill the small one. Make yourself bigger and deal more damage to it. Uh, you can aim to counter it and when you counter it it will do a lot of damage to it but if you get hit by it then you pretty much die and get kicked out so yeah and that's about it for Moros that's all you really need to know Okay, next we have a Lady of Light. There's only one thing you need to be careful with the Lady of Light. Um, of course, you need to clear out your Mirage so you don't get damaged. But more importantly, um, you, you kind of have to try to burst her down at the start and skip to phase 2. Otherwise... Yeah, there's a time issue thing again. Yeah, it just drags you way too much time if you don't do that. Because sometimes she immediately does her gimmick which reduces um, the damage that she gets. If, if that happens, yeah, you probably have to see the gimmick. And, um... You can actually ignore all of her gimmick after that, like just do damage and except for this bubble one, like just see if one person actually gets free and then you no more attack the other people so you free them and you sort of need to avoid the explosion but we, we kinda just ignore that and then do damage. Yeah, so this gimmick, uh, I mean it's, there's a way to actually do this properly like each person needs to go to corner and then make this um, light thing direct just the corners but it, 
doesn't kill you. So I guess we just ignore it and then just try to kill her. And that's pretty much it. Like she's gonna repeat all this um, gimmicks that you just need to go around the map and then find a safe spot and um, kill off all the mirage. When she does that circle gimmick, you need to stay in the safe zone. Or first, you gotta kill off the mirage and then go to the glowing one and stand there, avoid the explosion. Um, and main gimmick, should I say? Yeah, main gimmick that she has is that uh, like you see, there's a gauge going up on the under her, her HP bar. Yeah. Um, what, once that reaches 100% you get kicked out so you need to actually reduce it by going into different dimension and clear out the map to do so if you look around the map there's a small crack in there you no more attack it and go into the other dimension and clear out the image and come back usually Seder does that but if you accidentally no more attack it, then you need to go in there and then clear it out. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for Lady of Light. Like, uh, it sort of has the same gimmick as a uh, Level Three, but like, this there's this circle gimmick that's a little bit annoying. Uh, that's not hard really. Like you can see, you can see the safe zone. Next we have a uh, Abyss. Um, Abyss there's like a two way to clear this thing. If your party is strong enough, then don't use Awakening He. Um, the gimmicks are simple, like I'm not going to explain about first phase because it's just same as a um, level 3 but like more explosion going on. Yeah. So in this video we use uh, 3A because I want to show you guys the gimmicks that you need to do in phase 2 but uh, it's sort of same as a normal uh, phase 3 like the main gimmicks should I say uh, you gotta pick up the orb, go to different dimension and then clear out the map and you gotta reduce the uh, mana shield that he has by you know going into different world and then no more attack yet yeah and then you can do the damage so uh, if your party are strong enough normally what you do is you sk skip phase one not using the 3a and in phase two you reduce the mana shield then you use 3a to burst him down but like i said i wanted to show you guys about his gimmick, um, it's just more explosion. Like you gotta go around the map, and then um, if you're targeted, don't stand near the small balls around the map. Otherwise, you know, same as uh, level three, there's a big explosion. Yeah, that's pretty much it.
So additional um, gimmick that he has is that um, he's, he's gonna like kidnap all of you into different dimension. Then from here, you need to pick up the small balls and attack him. But if you notice, your HP is going down. Once you pick up the ball, you can attack the small clones that he summoned. It actually heals you up. If you're targeted by him, it will drop the large ball. And if you drop another ball on top of that, he resents all of his HP and you have to repeat it again from the start also explosion so it wipes out the party member yeah uh, and it's a fail if you don't actually clear that in time so you have to redo this the whole thing again so so usually people will just skip that but yeah I just wanted to show you guys how to do this but yeah, just remember, um, stay away from the balls. Like, don't make the ball drop on top of the ball, otherwise you just, yeah, fail the gimmick really. And that's pretty much for him as well. Like, your, uh, your first awakening should be back by then, so you can just burst him down after you succeed the gimmick. Next, we have a Maya. Maya is a problem one, actually. Um, it just doesn't work for us, actually. Like, there's this one gimmick. Um, it requires you to um, jump into his gimmick, but it, I don't know, for some reason, it just doesn't work. Like, I noticed that, um, when I was actually playing with all my um, Aussie friends and then it actually worked you know so it's, it's actually a bug really that um, our DFG has like if your connection is not 100% stable even if it's like 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 you don't see the computer on everyone uh, but uh, it still bugs out like if you are not living in the same country, it just doesn't work. Um, anyway, so the phase 1 and phase 2 is pretty much the same thing as a uh, level 3. So you just quickly burst him down with 3A and try to skip to next phase. Yes, there is a third phase in level 4. Okay, so in um, third phase, it's a little bit different. Uh, there's like this spinning wheel that he summons. Yeah, you can jump on it to remove it. And you just try to find a safe spot and just don't die until you can do his, um, his gimmick. Like, 
well, his gimmick that doesn't work for us. Usually after that gimmick, we can do like massive damage, but... Wow. It... Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, this party doesn't have a lag. Like, there's no lag issue and we still can't do it. Yeah, this ball gimmick. So, you, you gotta jump there by jumping on the spinning wheel that he summons. And he's... I think it was like four times and it, it'll crack, but it doesn't crack. Like, I'm actually just jumping into it, but it still doesn't crack at all. So, uh, yeah, Seder needs to use the, the um, well, if it's Enchantress, use the house and everyone needs to go in there before the explosion to avoid it. This isn't even a gimmick, actually. That's not his gimmick. His gimmick doesn't require you to do that. But in our server, it, it is. We gotta dodge it by doing that. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Like he just summons all this spinning wheel thingy that um, just shreds you. So if you see, immediately jump onto it and then remove it. Um, find the safe spot. Use the portal to like, yeah. Keep using the portals to actually teleport. That's pretty much it. You beat him down. Okay, and our lucky last is a uh, Karon. Karon is the true boss, man. Like, whoa, his gimmick's actually really hard. Um, so again, um, Karon has uh, phase one and two, and if you're doing level four, there's a third phase as well. And phase one and two is about the same. Like just quickly burst him down and uh, control your um, soul gauge. So Seder needs to summon those uh, tombstones and you stand top of that. And I think I don't need to explain the gimmicks because I actually explained about the gimmick in, uh, you know, in the other video. So let's go on to phase three right away. Um, at phase three, he's gonna like summon all this soul and then become big, and we just need to avoid at the start. Like those big line actually kills you instantly, so just move away. Yeah, lots of just moving away from his attacks. Just wait. Oh, and if you're targeted by him, yeah, move away from your party member, and you will see those um, white uh, powder thing in like a phase two. You know, you stand in there, then yeah, it's just gonna instantly kill you. So don't drop that on your party member. And if you don't, if your party member don't notice that shit, yeah, they just gonna die. So. Or if they die like that, that's on you in a way. So yeah. Oh, and in phase three, when he does that puddle thingy, um, you might be targeted like that. Yeah, there's a soul in there. You need to go and pick it up. And main part is, you know, not to die in phase three because it heals him.
last gimmick you need to know is when he does this in the end we all yeah um so pretty much stay near him and avoid the explosion and if you are targeted you need to go pick up your soul and come back to it yeah if you don't collect your soul you just die immediately so yay and that's pretty much it he's going to repeat all his gimmick over and over again and if you don't kill it in time you have to repeat it because like if your party member keeps dying he's going to heal his hp and yeah you just time out and that's pretty much all you need to know about level 4 Caron as well well i guess this video wasn't fully guide video it's more like a tip video but i could actually get my people and then like ask them to help me do like proper guide video but that takes too much effort and why not skip it if we can you know right so yeah hope this video helps for those of people who hasn't actually tried level 4 and i'll guess i'll see you guys later <laughs>